Today we're going to be making one of my favorite all-in-one dishes, Alfredo Bubble Up Bake. First thing we need is a can of biscuits, two cups of mozzarella cheese, a jar of classic Alfredo sauce, some baby spinach, and a whole rotisserie chicken. I started by popping open the biscuits and cutting each biscuit into six equal pieces, which I then threw into a sprayed casserole dish. I then started shredding my rotisserie chicken. I will advise, however, if you don't want to end up with the sticky mess that I got later, you might want to shred your chicken before you cut up your biscuits. You'll see what I mean in a second. When shredding your rotisserie chicken, you want to try to get as much of the meat off as possible. However, there are certain areas such as the wings that don't have a whole lot of meat on them and are just very difficult to get off. When shredding my chicken, I used two forks, one as a brace, the other as more of the active shredder. Shredding chicken can be a slow and tedious process. Hence why I say you should probably start this whole recipe by shredding the chicken. Once you have completely shredded your chicken, it's time to start combining all the ingredients. Once you have both your biscuits and your chicken in your casserole dish, add about half of the bag of mozzarella cheese. We will be saving the rest for later. Then add in as much spinach as you want. If you want to avoid a little extra crunch in your casserole, you can either cut or break off the stems. Otherwise, you can just throw in as much as you want. You can also add more spinach in the next step. Now it's time to add the whole jar of Alfredo sauce. I also add seasonings of salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of onion powder. Now to the best of your ability without making a mess, attempt to stir. My biscuits started sticking together again which is why I had trouble <laughs> and I made a very big mess. Don't be like me. If you still want to add more spinach, add it here. Otherwise, it's time to top with the remaining mozzarella. Add your dish to an oven that's been preheated to 350 degrees and let it bake for 36 to 46 minutes. Mine ended up being a little underdone, so I actually had to put it back in for another 10 minutes. And there you have it, Alfredo Bubble Up Bake.